you said you were driving about three hours or so to go get a truck and I just want to know how that went did you buy it and how's that truck working out for you is it hauling them cows around as well as it needs to be uh, Dude. either way I'd love to hear from you best of luck uh, against Edson Barboza and that's a real dude, right? Yeah, that's a real guy. He's in, oh, man. Uh, that guy's uh, in. Uh, What'd you get? Uh, a Ford F three fifty. Oh damn! It's a ninety one, bro. It's it's like a fucking little redneck paradise, bro. It's like it has no key on it. It's yeah. like a push start. And then, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. It's like he rigged up all the wires. He and rigged shit, up a push start in it. Brake lights. Yeah, he, it's a push start, and you have to use a screwdriver to flip a switch. Well, on the way home, what I didn't know on the back of the push start is like. It, he literally rigged it up like on the spot. Well, if you touch the positive and the negative, I yeah. let it hit the clutch mm -hmm. and bro, spark and uh, <laughs> <laughs> blew a fuse. I have to jump that the solenoid. That baby <laughs> yeah, New Year's yeah. boy. So on the way wow. home, I fucking uh, blew a fuse on the way home, and then we had to ju <laughs> we had to jump it on the solenoid just to get it just to get no. it started. So me and my buddy would so jump. Y'all think the it was a lemon at that point or what? Oh, I knew it was good, bro. When I heard that engine, yeah. brother, that ninety one. Uh, seven point three. Oh, like I, I said, make you hard, and, son. Oh shit, I don't make your cousin hard. My cousin's been dead for years, dude. <laughs> well, you'll see the soil on his grave. Fuck it. <laughs> That's right. You'll see the fluff a little, bro. That uh, that seven point three is an iconic engine. Wow. And let me just tell you right now, I don't care if you're Ford guy, Chevy guy, Dodge guy. I don't even care if you like fucking the Honda trucks. I don't yeah. care. You cannot talk shit about a Cummins diesel engine, and you cannot talk shit about a 7.3 engine. Uh, I think International Harvester might actually make the engine. At mm. one point, they did. I did some research on it. But um, the thing about what I've got on a 91 um, from, from, I think, 91 to 94, they did the IDIs, and that's what I got. Okay. Now, here's why I like it. This is why this truck was made for me, brother. Well, first off, it was 3800 bucks. It's in my fucking That'll price help. range. Hey, that's <laughs> you know saying, that's what I'm saying. It's in um, a Price Mitchell, they call him. <laughs> that's price, hey, the price Dude, is price right. Price Mitchell, bro. That the, would be a good story. The price is right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Price Mitchell, oh, you'd be baby. so much better than Bob Barker on that show, oh, man. Dude, if, if there's ever a Price is Right, you're the motherfucking host. I'd be giving away damn owl meat on that bitch, dude. The show wouldn't even last episode. You'd be giving away everything. <laughs> yeah, I'd, give, I'd give half them bitches away on there, too, dude. That's right. I'd say, we got to get rid of some of these bitches up here, man. So that the IDI engine, uh, it's different than these modern Power Strokes. Uh -huh. uh, the Power Stroke is, uh, they're both great engines, uh, Ford engines, but... This IDI is mechanical in nature, so it doesn't have as much computer uh, oh. parts. And so that's what I love about it. It's I fucking cannot stand all this cheap electronic shit. And let oh, me tell you, yeah, it's, it, ruins it, it, it ruins everything. And it is to the level where it is a conspiracy. If you don't think that they're making these cars to break they're at down. a certain point... Or making it more expensive for certain parts, you're fucking blind, bro. Because that's what the industry, the cars from the 90s with the manual transmissions and the simple engines last longer and are easier to fix than these newer ones. They're doing that because they want you in the dealership. Yeah. And uh, they don't, like, I got the best mechanic in the fucking world that lives, like, right down the road from me. His name's Paul Underwood. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me tell you what. I guarantee you Mr. Paul could fix anything on that 7.3 IDI. Right. You know, and he could probably fix a power stroke too, but there's going to be some com computer. Yeah, something you can't, that's out of your control. But it's just like, okay, you're going to have to order this cheap-ass part from some. Just to get the shit to work. Yeah, yeah and, and by now they know how long you're going to use a car. It's just so many things baked bro, it's into It's a conspiracy, it. bro. It, like, it's it's wow. called, uh, if you want to look into it, it's called planned obsolescence. It's been going on really since the beginning of time. It's not a conspiracy, bro. Right. But like when it first started getting popular, there was one instance of it in Germany. There was a uh, people who made T-shirts, uh -huh. I believe, maybe T-shirts or jeans, but they started using nylon. Well, bro, nobody, they didn't have any return customers. Because the fucking t-shirts and jeans was lasting damn. forever. So it's like they sell a pair of jeans and you never see that motherfucker again. <laughs> so they had to start damn. making shitty jeans. But, bro, that's in every single industry that there is. And it's to certain degrees. But in the car industry, you see so much planned obsolescence. These pieces of shit, especially Nissans <laughs> with their CVT transmissions. Uh, you know, because I have one fucking going on. Nissan, me. But, damn. But, um. I wouldn't it, even come in but, one of them. But he, here's it exactly. Well, I beg to differ on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what you doing? Wait. <laughs> I guess you that's the one the That's the one complaint I don't get, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let me tell you what. Them headlights, for example. You get you one of these Nissan 2006 
uh, Maximus. This is a planned obsolescence that I'm talking about to certain uh -huh. degrees. Okay, you fix your, you break your headlight. Guess how much that fucking new one costs? Probably two fifty. Hundred fifty, yeah. Damn, bro, it's a fucking headlight. They can make that for three dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they got you, and they do that with their transmissions. They do it with their engine. Not this Ford engine. Not this 7.3 IDI. It's a real engine made for real farmers right. who really work for their real money yeah. and don't want to spend it on no fake shit. You yeah. know, and that truck is is me personified, Gang, bro. Dang, baby. And uh, the only thing I got to do is got to add a little uh, one of those uh, gooseneck balls on the back of it, you know, that mounts right there in the truck bed. Uh-uh. Oh, but, for... Uh... For pulling that heavy weight from cattle. Oh really? And hey, yeah. So what you'll it's for it, it's for the transmission now. Well, it's it's um so you can actually pull that weight if you you know the the balls that hang off the back like a regular mm -hmm. like on the you'll see up there in that truck you see I got a little two inch ball I got a three way right on the back of it not the kind you like but yeah the kind with yeah. uh you know <laughs> the kind with three different uh, hitches on yeah, it right yeah yeah well that sticks off the back of the truck. Okay. Okay. When you mount one of these uh, gooseneck or fifth wheel um, hitches, you got to do it from the inside, from the truck bed. Ah. And so that distributes to where all that weight Weighs ain't on front. the. It puts more of it up front, so your your truck and more of the weight goes to the trailer, and so now you can pull uh, thirty two thousand pounds, bro. Damn. Like I'm I'm gonna be pulling some shit, you know. Damn. Oh yeah. So I got to get that. I got to fix my brake lights. I got to rig it up to where I'm not jumping a solenoid every time I start it. Oh. It's yeah, got a little bit of ash it. on the seats. I yeah. can tell this dude. And he had a swisher. <laughs> when I pull out the little cup holder thing, he had a swisher in it. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I ain't even tripping. I just wish I was here for that one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, bro, it's so cool. Like, it's an old school manual. And, by the way, you don't ever see these manuals. That's how you know they're, they're trying to make these vehicles to break now. You right. can't even hardly find a fucking truck with a manual. I, know, I, will never, crazy, I will never buy another vehicle that's not a manual unless if something crazy happens and I get some good deal or something, you know. But, um, you know, this thing is like you put it in the first, bro. And, like, you don't even have, just let off the clutch, man. Like, it's going to go. It's not going to die. Yeah. You know, it's got so much power. Like, I'm not even touching the gas. You just put it in first, don't and, even, thing, and it just creeps. Mm, <laughs> yeah. It is nice power. when you get into something that feels like it has a, a life of its own. Bro, it does, man. It's got two gas tanks on it, and you switch it, but one of them don't read, so you just kind of, like, have to, you are the gas gauge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> 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 bro, that's fire, dude. Bro, it's that's like, like I old said, school, not even knowing yeah, how much gas is bro, in that I just, bitch. I just know it was meant for yeah. me, bro. It's, like a, it's, it's perfect. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that video, and you can watch another. And you can watch this one, you can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.